Welcome to PhiladeliaEagles.com and I just got back from my New Orleans trip. Once I got home, I found a very special package from one of my favorite Eagles players who just got back from the Pro Bowl, Jason Bavin. Woo! I know you guys saw me babbing in a couple times this season. Well, he's hooked me up with some awesome gear. Check out this awesome Pro Bowl hat signed by the man himself. Yeah! Not only do I love him because he's an awesome player, just got back from the Pro Bowl, but he cares so much about his fans. You gotta love a guy that supports his fans just as much as we support him. I got Babin, do you? And you guys make sure to check out his website. It's launching tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, which is 6 p.m. for all us West Coasters. This week, I put together a compilation of all my videos from this past season. I just gotta say thanks again for everyone, for all your love and support, and a special thanks to Jason Babin. Thanks for showing me some love. Welcome to PhiladeliaEagles.com. I'm an Eagles fan living in Los Angeles, California. Lots of exciting things happening. We have a couple other free agents that we're picking up. The only thing I'm concerned about is the hype. I mean, we have the dream team, all these great players. Look at Miami Heat. They, didn't, they were a dream team and they didn't win. All that hype and they got nothing to show for it. So I hope that doesn't happen to us. Keeping my fingers crossed. I'm really excited, can't wait to see the first game, and we all know Eagles look amazing on paper. And then we saw them during the preseason and noticed that they have a few kinks that need to be worked out. With an interesting start. Fly, Eagles, fly. <sighs> Victory tastes so sweet. On the road to victory. I won't be overlooking the Atlanta Falcons. This is going to be a tough game, and we're going to see if all these new players have had enough time to build the chemistry to beat a playoff caliber team. My Eagles lost. Vic gets out with a concussion. Kafka has to come in. Kafka. Ah. Uh. If the Eagles lost, I have to chug a Four Locos in four minutes. My Eagles better appreciate this. Mmm. are going to be hosting their first division map, but you know what? I'm going to remain objective and look at the facts. Currently, our quarterback situation is up in the air. Another week of that horrible feeling of uncertainty about my Eagles. Missed tackle after missed tackle after missed tackle. So tired of losing games that we should win, and it better stop here. Eagles lose to the 49ers. Red zone offense and fourth quarter defense is what this loss breaks down to. Eagles net points is zero. We don't really know this Buffalo team yet. If we play like we've been playing for these past three weeks, then we're screwed. Jaquay freaking Parker. Oh my God. Our fourth straight loss. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm starting to panic are leading the league in turnovers and we gotta change that let's go victory feels so good where have you been these past four weeks who was that team that only allowed 42 rushing yards and had defenders that were actually making tackles that NFC East title is gonna be up for grabs Dallas hate week luckily we're coming out of the bye week where Andy Reid has that perfect record at 12 and 0 when the stakes get higher Tony Romo's choke meter goes off the charts Pew! Pew! we're gonna be hot towards the end of this season what did I tell you Eagles after the bye week is no joke Me, the winner the Cowboys killer LaShawn McCoy had a career high of 185 rushing yards and two scores against this number one ranked defense. One you know to touch that play. If only every week could be this great. Jerry Jones ain't you were right if you ask me. Cause if I was him, I would have signed that Ben and Nam. Oh Chicago, our NFC foe. See this? This is what happens when the Eagles lose. I'm not giving up on the season until it is absolutely over. Just freaking win. With three, count them, three million dollar cornerbacks, we can't find a way to cover Larry Fitzgerald.
in the corner crying by myself in a bar in downtown L. LaShawn McCoy is our best player and we need to get him the ball. I see my Eagles beating those Giants this Sunday. Come on Eagles, it's a lucky day. Shut them up, we're gonna do a replay. Come on Eagles, don't be afraid. If Jackson doesn't get the ball, he'll never get paid. Jason Babin saved the day. Woo! Now Babin, time has come. I'd like to have a little fun, and he said, if I could only see you get to his life, he will be done. Unlike the Giants, the Patriots are not a team where you can get away with having three turnovers. SMH. I will not be doing any more food bets. That was disgusting. We need some divine intervention. Do you have Tim Tebow on your team? Is your quarterback a virgin? Nope can surprise you, just like when they beat the Giants earlier this year. It wouldn't be another week in Eagles football if there wasn't some drama. Poor throwing, poor tackling, poor defense, poor everything. It's so frustrating to think about because the NFC East is up for grabs and the Eagles are just throwing away the season. At the beginning of the season, we would have seen this game against Miami as a cakewalk for the Eagles. At this point, nothing will surprise me. On both sides, each team needs to do pretty much the same thing to win. Run the ball effectively and have a good day on defense. The Eagles did exactly what they were supposed to do. They gave the ball to Shady and they had an awesome day on defense. With Cowboys running back to Marco Murray being out for the rest of the season, it appears as though the New York Giants have the best chance of winning the division. If you want to provide a distraction to Jets head coach Rex Ryan, instead of using those huge foam fingers at the game, get some of these. Let's defeat those Jets. <laughs> the Jets are still winless against Philly. I'm glad to see that we've had both loudmouth Ryan's brothers own it up to defeat by the Eagles. I need the Eagles to beat the Cowboys, Jets to beat the Giants, and some other crazy stuff next week to make your list, check it twice, and make sure you have the Eagles beating Dallas on Christmas Eve night. Like Godzilla all up in your city, uh! Christmas is over, and thanks to the New York Jets, so are the Philadelphia Eagles playoff chances. Hey, but at least we whooped on them, Cowboys. Tony Romo couldn't do it, and neither could Stephen McGee. Oh no, Tony Romo! The Eagles are the best team that won't make the postseason. The Eagles started out the first day of 2012 by beating down on the Redskins. We were one game too late. Just one stupid game. <laughs>